हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स द क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन मेथड ऑफ फाइंडिंग द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ अ पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स यू नो सी बी एस ई हैज रिलेटेड दिस फ्रॉम द क्लास टेंथ पोर्शन बट आई टेल यू वॉट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रैक द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन फाइंडिंग द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दीज लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स then the cross multiplication method is the smartest method that you can have and so many of the students you know rather most of the students fear this method of cross multiplication so i am going to simplify it for you all in this video and show you how this method can be so short and accurate and the cross multiplication method can be used to crack the multiple choice questions of solving these linear equations in two variables directly that means you will find the value of x and the value of y directly so you can see an equation written here i'll be solving this uh, directly uh, and just a single step and you will know the value of x and the value of y right now you know very important that you subscribe the channel and you know click the bell shaped icon you know because you don't want to miss out on these Uh, amazing short tricks which i have been bringing uh, especially for you right so watch the entire video and uh, i'm i'm sure you're going to share the video with your friends your uh, class 10th uh, students whom whom you know and whom uh, you know who are appearing in the board exams uh, in the coming year and uh, everybody will get lots and lots of benefit out of this particular trick first question is a simple looking question the second question will be little difficult and the third one the equations reducible to linear form even those equations i'll show you see the third equation here look at this the x and y are in the denominator you can crack this question also using this shortest and accurate method of finding the solution directly okay so let's get on with the video and see the first question for the video so if i want to find the value of x directly so what will i have to do c i'll start with this coefficient minus 4 okay and i will cross multiply with here 34 see i'm writing all the steps okay minus this minus is by default now i went like this right minus 4 times 34 so i'll go like this now 5 times minus 41, so I'll write 5 times minus 41, and in the denominator, I'll again start with minus 4, but I'll go other way round here, cross. So minus 4 times minus 3, and again minus sign is by default. So I've done like this. Now I'll do the product like this. So 7 times 5, or 5 times 7. Now this will give me the value of x. and uh, a small calculation here this is minus and then 120 and 16 136 and then minus minus plus uh, 4 5 times means 4 times the half is 205 and in the denominator this is 12 minus 35 12 minus 35 so you have 205 uh, minus 136 is 64 69 uh, and in the denominator you have negative 23 so it cancels uh, 69 exactly three times you get minus 3 as the value of x so one step and you get the answer and finding the value of y you can either use the method which i have told you i'll show it to you or if you are confident that the value of x you obtained is correct you can just plug this value x here and find the value of y that is one one way of doing it but i am going by the cross multiplication method again okay so i will find y now so to find y now i will start with this 7 and i will go like this 7 times 34 and since i have done uh, the cross multiplication like this i will do it like this now minus is by default minus 41 times minus 3 so i will write all the steps in the first question in the denominator i will have to do the other way round so 7 times 5 And minus so seven times five means minus four times minus three. This is to be written in the denominator. Minus four times minus three. So what we'll get here? 
seven fours are twenty eight. Two means twenty three. So two thirty eight, and then three minus signs means negative, and three ones are three, and three fours are twelve, and in the denominator you have thirty five minus twelve. Thirty five minus twelve. Now if you see two thirty eight minus one twenty three, it is hundred and fifteen. And in the denominator, this is twenty-three. So twenty-three cancels this exactly five times, giving you the value of y as five. And here is your solution: x is minus three and y is five. Now you can do it through the traditional approach and check whether you are getting the correct answer or not. At the first look of this, you know you will feel as if oh, so many of the steps are involved here, and how is this a short method? I tell you, you know. Little bit of practice is required to skip the steps. So whenever you get a multiple choice questions, the steps don't matter, and so you can do it directly. I'll show you in the second question. See, I'm not going to write all the steps now. Okay? Here we have a question. So if I want to find x, now I'm going to skip the steps. So I need to do what? Here we have to start with minus two. So minus two times thirty-two is minus sixty-four. See, I'm writing it directly here. And we have a minus sign, and then we have five times minus five, which is minus twenty-five. So this minus becomes plus twenty-five, and in the denominator go other way round. This is minus twelve, minus, and this is minus ninety. So plus ninety. And see now the method becomes so easy. This is minus thirty-nine, and in the denominator you have ninety minus twelve, which is seventy-eight. So thirty nine cancel seventy eight two times you get minus one by two as the value of x. See now the number of steps are nearly half of what we did in the previous question. So if you practice uh, like twenty questions of this type, I tell you you will be solving it in ten to fifteen seconds. Yes. Okay. Let's do y also. So for y I have to start with this. So eighteen times thirty two. Eighteen two is at thirty six. So three. Eighteen three is at fifty four, fifty seven. So five seventy six minus. Then the other way round, it has to be six five is at thirty. And then denominator eighteen into minus five is minus ninety. And then minus this is minus twelve, so plus twelve. So you get five seventy six minus thirty, which is five hundred and forty six. And in the denominator you have minus seventy eight. And you can check seventy eight will cancel five forty six exactly seven times. Giving you the answer as minus seven. So x is minus one by two, and y is minus seven. See the number of steps now. It's exactly half of the number of steps we used in the first question. Can we apply this method for equations reducible to quadratic form? Let's check. So here we have a question which is not. Uh, I mean, these two equations are not directly linear equations because x and y are in the denominator. But one thing is common in both the equations. Here we have x. Here also you have x. Here you have y. Here also you have y. So instead of now finding the value of x, I am finding the value of one upon x, and I will do it the similar way. Here the coefficient is one by three, so I will multiply one by three by here the number here thirteen by six, and subtract what the other way round. Uh, two times half, two times half, and in the denominator from here to here, so one by three. I'm writing all the steps again. See, times one by three minus one by two times one by two, right? So I can do it now. So thirteen by eighteen minus uh, this is one upon this is one by nine minus one by four. Uh, 13 minus 18 is minus 5, so minus 5 by 18, and this is 4 minus 9, minus 5 by 36, so into 36 by minus 5, so minus 5 cancels out, 18 cancels 36, two times the answer is 2. Now this is not x, this is 1 by x. Okay, so I'll do it later. So I'll I'll find 1 by y first. So I'll start with 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 times 13 by 6. Is okay. I'll write all the steps. One by two times thirteen by six minus the other way round two times one by three. And in the denominator, half times half. So I'll write half times half minus one by three times one by three. 
So let's see what happens here. This is 13 by 12 minus 2 by 3 and in the denominator 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9. So if you see here 12 is the LCM so you will get the value uh, 4, 2, uh, 8, 13 minus 8, 5. So 5 by 12 and in the denominator 9 minus 4, 5, 5 by 36. So 36 by 5. So 5 cancels out, 12 cancels is 3 times you get a 3. Now I could find 1 by x and 1 by y. So if 1 by x is 2, that means x is 1 by 2. And if 1 by y is 3, that means y is 1 by 3. And this gives us the solution of the equations reducible to linear form. So you can see the number of steps are same, exactly the same. Only thing is because x and y were in the denominator, so I found 1 by x and 1 by y instead of x and y directly. So you can see cross multiplication method works so wonderfully well if you have to solve these linear equations in two variables not by showing the steps because this is cross multiplication method which is not in class 10 syllabus as of now. So for cracking the multiple choice questions or finding the solutions of the word problem. So when you have formulated the equations and you want to uh, find what is the answer you can verify it using this method in the rough column and then checking your uh, solutions can also be done using this amazing short trick. So practice 20-30 such questions and in the competitive exams you are going to crack each and every question of linear equations in two variables. So practice a lot and let me know in the comments here did it benefit you all the best.